Cool. So the first thing we want to do in our course is to initialize a new Go project. We're going to do that using the go mod init command, and we're going to pass in the github.com slash tutorial edge slash go rest API course. And this is going to be the path to the repository in which this course material lives. We're going to click enter, and that's going to go ahead and create the go mod file for us. Now, I like to think of this GoMod file as very similar to the package.json file or the requirements.txt file that you would find in, say, Node or Python projects. In this GoMod file, you will find a list of dependencies that our Go application needs in order to run and compile. Now, these dependencies will be listed below this Go116 line, and they will also include the versions of those various dependencies. So for now, this is nice and empty as we don't have any dependencies. But when we do start to incorporate dependencies into our application, we'll come back to this and revisit exactly how they appear within this file. Cool. So the next thing we need to do is also to initialize our repository with git. So let's do git init dot. And then let's add a remote. So git remote add origin. And let's pass in the GitHub path to the REST API course, like so. Git status, and as you can see, we have the readme and the GoMod file that have yet to be committed. Now I'm gonna create a new branch, and I'm gonna call this version two, and we'll call this episode one. And then git add, git commit, initial commit, and git push origin and version 2001. Cool. So our source code now lives within this new branch. Now, as you walk through all of the lessons within this course, I would encourage you to try and commit your changes at the end of every lesson and try and commit them with a meaningful git commit message. Now, this is just a good practice to get into, even if you're doing side projects as you'll tend to use this same approach for your production applications when you're working professionally.